G'day. Welcome to the first episode of Bogan's Guide to Beer. I'm Sampy. And I'm Brian, and I have more than a passing interest in beer. More than what I do, because uh, I'm not really the beer guy, I'm usually the wine guy. So uh, this episode we're going to try a John, Sm- uh, John Smith Extra Smooth beer. beer. I think in England it will be called a bitter. And what's interesting about it is that, yes, it's an English beer, it's got instructions on it, like serve cold. That's yeah, it's obviously not an Australian beer, you wouldn't need that sort of instruction. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> Let's hope that these things have widgets in the bottom. What the hell's a widget? A widget is, is a thing, it won the Duke of Edinburgh Award, and it gives you this creaminess that comes out of what I consider to be a, a proper beer, an ale, or um, a bitter, I don't mind what you call it, but it, I mean, just look at that. that. That's art, that is. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Of course, you can't drink it till next Wednesday, but. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, that's probably the bit plan in it very well. And, and the other good thing about this is the alcohol level, it's 3.8%. Why is that good, Brian? Well, because it means you can have a few more of these and not end up lying around in the garden the next day. Although, to me, that's important. You're overlooking, though, because these are 500 ml, so you're more or less getting two beers for the price of one, even though it is uh, lower alcohol, so uh, I think they might have tricked you a little bit there. Okay, so what you do is change the aspect ratio on your television and these will look perfectly (laughs) all right, and then you you can buy them and think, well, this is all right. Alright, well mine, right. yours are still uh, settling, but mine's settling quite a bit there, you've got a nice thick creamy head on there, so is this, this is obviously a stout. No, 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 it's what in England's called a bitter, right. and uh, I'm no expert um, on this, but you, you have your lager, which is basically aerated, it's got bubbles and um, it, therefore it's the thing that makes you burp and all, all that kind of thing. These are a bitter, they aren't aerated. Aren't aerated. Yes. So if you hold it up, you can't see bubbles coming up the side, like yeah. that, as I understand it. Yeah, but I no, it's not it. a stout. It's definitely not a stout. It, lo- it looks... God, they can't get out that head. That just looks sensational. Yes, it could almost talk to you, couldn't it? Now, it's, it's got a real dark um, brick, red brick, dark, dark red brick sort of colour. Yes. Is that, yes. uh, would you agree with that? Well, I do, and perhaps um, this is what makes it a bitter, because I, I've seen a lot of bitters over the years, and they, they don't have that um, goldenness of the of, of a lager, and I'm not sure why that is. So let's see what we get off the nose. Very very, I suppose. Yes, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I don't pick up lots of um, complexities in that. No, it says it says it's got a very strong nose. It's very light smelling, so uh, I don't think that's an indication of anything. But it's uh, certainly not repellent. Well, I just can't wait to have a taste, mate. That looks pretty yummy. Mm. So let's uh, have a bash. Cheers. Cheers. Sorry, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Careful with this glass. Yeah, well, see, it. it's in the, in the clunk there. There was no ting. It's a no. It's, it's so thick. Deadening. It's, yeah, deadening. Right. It's Imagine you can get your house insulated with beer. <laughs> And what you can do with a bitter is you can drink it down. Um, it, it doesn't doesn't stop you taking a long draw, and that's why I love these beers. You say it's smooth, smooth, super smooth. There's no. Um, that's in the name. Well, there, there you go. It's smooth. Dead right. It's. Um, like I say there's no bubbles there. It's almost oh. just like it's. You, you, you'd almost think it's flat, but I'm usually really turned off by having a flat beer. Yeah. But this is. Uh, Oh, well, perfectly quaffable, isn't it? Well, it's, uh, it's magnificently quaffable. For, for a, a um, we're in Perth, Western Australia, that's got a big English population, and it, it all always surprises me that um, the big breweries over here aren't making their own version of one of these because it goes down a treat. You probably find a few BT breweries that are probably having a bit of a bash at it, but um, yeah, I can't think of any um, your major players that are uh, doing anything like this. All right, so uh, when are you going to rate that out of ten, my brother? Well, I'm going to give it um, a, a high rating because I love the smoothness of it. Um, I would give it eight out of ten. It's it's a delicious beer that you you can sit down and draw back and drink comfortably, quickly. <laughs> I don't know whether that's good though. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm with you. I, I can understand the. Uh, like the it's very, very smooth. Obviously, by you say by the name, it's. Um, not bitey, it's very accessible, but I find it actually tastes a little dull. There's nothing really uh, jumping out 
jumping at me. So, love your drink, looks fantastic. Palette, I'm finding it a little bit boring. So I'm gonna give it probably a, a six. Six, well, I'll give it a six. Surprise. Yeah. So one of the things I like about this also is that it, it, it has what I call a low fruit factor, because I don't like fruit in the beer, that's the surprising thing. Oh, well, maybe, that's, maybe that's, gonna be, that's gonna be an interesting thing of the show, because I actually really like those uh, fruity, uh, Coming yes. around the hat sort of lines. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll beers, we'll we'll discuss this. We will. Okay. All right, so until next episode, oh, this has been Bogan's Guide to Beer. Catch you next time. Tarot. Oh.